rats in the water. Yeah. It's so nice. Absolutely beautiful. just slowed down because uh, one of the crew has seen a big fin and they think it's a killer whale. So we woke up this morning to a sunrise very early in Manganui in our Airbnb but we jumped on the road because we've got some fun plans today. So we're in Pai here at the moment and today we're hoping that we get to meet some dolphins. <laughs> we're doing a full day cruise with Fuller's Great Sights doing the cream trip and I've got my fingers crossed that we get to meet some little mates. <laughs> so Pai is a relatively small town, it's in the Bay of Islands which is a really popular spot for New Zealanders and for... Yeah, um, Travellers I think come here quite frequently because you can do these different trips and everything from here but it's just coming up to 9.15 and that's when we get to jump on board and I don't think we get back in until 4.30. Yeah, so it's it, going to be a it's long a day. It's a full day of exploring. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. I'll grab your ticket for you. Are you on the cream trip? Yeah. Yes. It's your boat coming in now. So cool. it'll be boarding in about um, five minutes or so. Amazing. Amazing. And it's your ticket for both of you. Thanks Bye. very much. Thank you. Cheers. Go on up. That looks like a nice spot. I think it's going to be windy, but at least we've got a good view. So we've just been given a map covering all of the places that we're going to go today. There's quite a few, isn't there? There's a lot to cover in a day. There's quite a few that we're visiting, but in total in the Bay of Islands, there's over 140 different islands, subtropical islands. Yeah. Um, I had no idea. No, so one of the stops is like world famous in New Zealand. <laughs> it's called the Hole in the Rock. And I think if guess what it is. <laughs> yeah, get one guess. And it's quite literally it's just this enormous, uh, almost like horseshoe kind of hole in a, in a rock. And if the weather's good, I think we get to go through it. But obviously if there's so cool. yeah, if there's swells, I don't think that we can. Let's look after you, your friendly crew. We have Floppy, Tim, Lawrence, and myself, Gavin. Today's tour, the cream trip, and it's been running since 1927 originally started by Albert Ernest Fuller. He was delivering supplies and collecting cream and milk from the surrounding islands. The public wanted to get involved in his trips, so he started selling tickets. That is effectively how tourism was actually born in the Bay of Islands. Well, we might be a very big boat and we're on a time schedule. We've got beautiful sun out this way, heading towards a grouping of islands there. But over to this side, it's just pure rain. So the captain just said we're going to take a quick turn and try and avoid this but there's actually some rain drops. Oh wow you can see it on the across the water there as it's getting closer. It's moving very fast but I'm getting a few drops. Oh maybe more than a few it's getting quite wet now but look how nice that looks. This is New Zealand weather for you. Option A, option B. So we're going for that. Wipers on but time to go inside. Everyone's come inside now because it's raining. That shadow just, rain will hopefully pass uh, in a moment. We've just slowed down because uh, one of the crew has seen a big fin and they think it's a killer whale. It's orca. Did you find them? Yeah, we can see them in the distance, but they're quite far away at the moment. Come, come stand in here. This is brilliant. So, as we were heading in that direction and they've literally stopped turned the whole boat around. Now there's somebody uh, talking about what they are, telling us about Orca, why they've got their scratches and their scars and because of how close they get to the rocks and the landscape of New Zealand. And it's basically just all tailored around us stopping to go back to try and get a bit of vision. But we're just like trawling speeds, just slowly approaching. I mean, we're, we're an hour in and already got the potential chance to see some up and close, so. Wow, that was close. Wow. So this is a male orca that we've got, apparently about 8 metres long, it's dorsal fin, it's about a metre and a half up to 2 metres. I've got so much footage of it, I'm literally watching it right here, just popping up out of the water. Man, this is a magical start, you can see it's still raining, sun on behind us. Thanks 
for a match. Seen the water? Yeah. It's so nice. Just got off the boat at Otahai Bay on the largest island in the whole of the Bay of Islands and this is going to be our lunch stop and I think we have just over an hour here before we have to be back on the boat. It's a really nice scene as well, look at all this. Such nice Absolutely beautiful. Beachfront. Yeah, came to the very front um, the the waiter was saying that the, uh, the sunshine might be tricking us and it might start to rain, so hopefully that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, right. Just cooked us up a couple burgers. Do you yeah. want one? Oh yeah, go on in. <laughs> the morning's actually gone really quickly. It's been just over three hours before we've arrived here. So that first hour was just like all go because of the orcas and then there were some dolphins that were potentially sighted. Now I think the next two were pretty much like just cruising, weren't they? Mm. Just really, really chill. I think we're following along on our map, going to all the different stops. We've been to, I think this is, a, this is officially the 10th island and there's about 20 for the whole day. And all of them have a little bit of a story that's not, it's not like a recorded voice either. It's quite literally the captain and, what, and the other lady who was like the, the, um, the whale specialist. Just <laughs> chatting as you go. So it's like just hanging out with people on their boat. And then, yeah, like, it's just so flexible. It's not a regimented cruise, which is kind of what I was expecting. Some really beautiful beaches out here that are obviously just like untapped because it's just, it's all privately owned land, I think. people that have um, got into their togs and they're ready to go in the water and the boat is going to drag the net along while the people are in it so that they can just kind of like cruise see if there are any dolphins that come along we had all the intentions of doing it we both brought um, swimming stuff with us it's just been too cold we just we're just too weak we're too used to the sunshine the, the European heat I'm literally in a puffer jacket <laughs> I think everyone's trying to act brave, but they look pretty cold. <laughs> They're all going, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, get it. It's so cool how there are like so many different elements to this full day trip. Mm. Because this morning we had the whales and then there were the dolphins and then if you want to go swimming you've got like the boom net. We got to get off the car. Okay, we're going to change a few people around and Full uh, of information as going. well. <laughs> bit of fun though. Yeah, bit, so of, bit of fun though. Fun. There's a few more people to hop in. We'll give them a bit of an experience. We actually start to make our way out through this passageway here. Okay. Yep. Slowly continue on. Cool. No, it's honestly been really good commentary <laughs> all day long. It's just literally like chatting to a couple of Kiwi friends. right-hand side, our world-famous Hole in the Rock. So we've made it to the main event. This is the, the Hole in the Rock. But we're pulling up to it now and we're hoping far out. So it's about 25 meters high, about 16 meters wide, 15 meters in depth, but it's quite a narrow entranceway and we're not sure if we're gonna to get to go in. There's a little bit of a swell, but we'll see. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
We're in it. Wow, it is tight. Oh, Skipper Gavin threading the needle. He just kind of was like, right, we're doing this. Yeah. Oh, that was special. I really thought that we were going to get through there. Neither. Sorry, I was on my phone and then I was just trying to take it all in and then I... <laughs> that was amazing! Oh, wow. That was insane.